hello guys it's me kartik hope you guys are doing really good so uh, we are going to see how we can configure the sonar lint plugin in intellij this sonar lint plugin is actually a replica of sonar cube so where this sonar cube comes into picture and what is a useful so uh, sonar cube is nothing but a server where you know it will all the projects will be hosted and it will scan through your project and it will give you some suggestion some error code code some way where there is a chance of some exceptions some one time exceptions all those things it will give you okay so in order to so most of the times in my projects what happens is whenever we raise a pr pull request and it will scans uh, all the uh, all the things you know uh, it will do this sonar cube analysis uh, some other things as well from the jenkins pipeline okay at the time of running uh, once i raise the pr it will give you some suggestion right before that if i could able to you know use it before uh, when i'm doing my development itself it will be going to be really useful right because anyway it will going to give me some suggestions which will internally helps me as a programmer right as a developer it will really help me so in order to do that uh, there is a plugin called sonar lint which you can see in the down that means i have already added how to get that go to your settings go to the plugin section and select as a marketplace type sonar and this is a famous plugin called sonar lint now you could see 6.6 million downloads okay here since i have already added it is it is coming like this in the for the first time for you it will there will be install button you just need to click on install it will download it is a little bigger plugin so it will take more time and you need to restart your ide that's it it will automatically gets added once it is added you could see here in installed uh, plugins you can see and here the checkbox is enabled that means sonar lint plugin is already added okay so here in the down you could see the sonar lint plugin so what it does is let me go to some particular uh, file open a particular file now you could see there are three suggestions it is giving okay what are the three suggestions it is giving you could see here okay we name the page size which hides the declared line okay so uh, some some suggestions uh, and which category also it is giving me here okay so uh, all those things are going to be really really useful let me go and show you some some other okay now you could see there were 12 issues you could see okay what is that first one immediate return of this expression instead of assigning uh, it to the temporary variable all so basically I'm returning this right this all variable which i am assigning it in the top itself which is not so recommended okay it is a uh, maintainability issue okay so here they are giving me all the suggestions like here they are uh, this is the issue and instead of that let's do something like this so what i'll do is instead of this variable i will add return here itself and let me close this return if i save now you could see one issue is gone another issue is renaming of this pa package okay package should be in small letters okay so uh, what i can do is simply go here refactor where is that refactor here refactor rename it okay all the directories instead of filter demo i can keep filter dot demo okay that's it it should automatically uh, gets refactored okay now you could see uh, now you could see are there any sonar issues now no there is some warning which is not from this sonar link some other place now this file is properly set and if i go to other and see this is there is a one no issue is it there are three issues here okay i need to work on it so that it will really helps me okay uh, one issue is 
is there were three issues okay uh, yeah so this issue I need to see and I need to work on that issue okay simple so likewise you can use the sonar lint plugin which is really efficient and as a developer it will help you out a lot uh, that's all about this video guys thank you so much for watching thank you it's me Karthik